Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today let's model model something like this. Okay, so uh, not a parametric foam pit, but um, we're going to just uh, roughly model something so we can place um, in the project to pretend that's a foam, a foam uh, pit. Okay, so okay, so let's start. So first. Um, Let's start with a uh, adaptive model. Okay, so here first place one point, and then select this point, make it adaptive. Okay, so now place another point, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the horizontal work plan, and place it on this point. Now, so dra drag this point up, so it's easier for us to place uh, more points okay so so now change the show reference plans to always okay so now we will see all these reference plans and then place another point draw on work plan set work plan and pick the horizontal work plan of this point and place it on this oh hell sorry uh, wrong wrong one so this time we need to pick a vertical okay so vertical so let's pick this one and place it on the point and okay and then drag this point this way okay and then once again let's um, change this to always so now place another point to our work plan set work plan so this time pick the, the other uh, vertical reference plan okay and then place it the point and okay and then let's drag this point that way okay so now we have one two three points and we can place um, we can create a parameters to the rotation angle so so first one let's call it a uh, a1 um, instance okay and okay the second one rotation angle let's create a2 instance okay okay so the last one um, create a3 instance okay and okay so I'm going to change the show reference plans to always as well so now we can uh, create a, a cube on this reference point so we can Go reference line, draw a rectangle, draw on work plan, set work plan, and uh, let me think which um, actually doesn't matter. So, any let's just uh, place it on the horizontal, okay? So, and then draw a rectangular shape, and then dimension and pick the reference uh, line to the point. Reference line to the point, reference line to the point, reference line to the point, and then select all these reference uh, uh, dimension and create a let's call it W W W1 maybe and type OK and then select these four reference line and create form. So pick this solid and here positive offset create another. Let's call it W2. So to make it a, a cube, so we just need to um, W2 equals W1 times 2. And you will see it become a cube. Okay, so now let's change this to maybe 300. And that's it. So this is one of those, one of this uh, cube. Okay. So now let's have a test. So if I change the A1, for example, 45 degree, you will see it will rotate. This point will rotate. And if I change this one, apply, so you will see this point rotate, but different um, direction. And A3, 45, and then this point rotate again. So all good. So now we can just click OK to finish it. So now what I'm going to do is select all one, two, three points, and here offset. I'll just type in zero. So this one, this way, all these uh, four points will 
uh, go um, overlap uh, in one, one one spot. Okay, so now that's it. So that's one of this uh, cube. And also, uh, if you want to, you can create a a material parameter. So let's just do it. Create a uh, I'll call it material. And also, I'm going to use instance parameter. And so we can we can uh, give a different material to them. Okay, so now the next step is so uh, I'm not going to create a, a family use this one. Um, so my plan is so for example if I create a, let me just create a project. So let's pretend I'll just draw some wall. Okay, so I'll draw some very um, so for example negative uh, negative one meter to ground floor uh, zero and I'll draw a so something like this so we can't see because the view range let's change the view range uh, where's my view range yeah uh, I'll just change to unlimited okay so now this is my little foam pit uh, Maybe five. I'll just make it five meter by maybe uh, five by five. Okay, so five meter by five meter. So this is my little foam pit. I just want to place some uh, on the surface. So if I need to, to do a, for example a render, so it looks uh, nice. It will look nice. Uh, better than those uh, using material. Okay, so now I know the size. So, so uh, what I need to do is I'll just create a conceptual mass, and and in this mass, I'm going to draw a reference uh, rectangular shape. Okay, I'll just oh oh sorry. Uh, maybe do this. Let's just delete this. I'll just go to floor plan and do it center, center to the reference plan. Okay, so I'll just do this, and so I'll just type two five, two five. Oops, maybe we need to pick one five meter and five meter. So. Okay, so this is my five meter by five meter um, reference reference lines. Okay, so select it and create a form, create a face. Okay, so select this face and divide surface. So now we need to decide the what the the size of those uh, no size of this. Okay, so Let's have a look in how big. It's quite big, I think. Um, let's make it 300 by 300. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, currently is currently is, is 600 by 600, which means I'll just change this by 300. Ch I'll change this to change the W2 to a 300. So now it's 300 by 300. So now we can load this into that um, mass, so which is this one. And then before we place, we just need to adjust this. So I'm going to use fixed distance for, uh, 300, fixed distance 300, apply. Okay, and then we need to go here, check the nodes, okay. So now we can place those. So I'll just place it on one of the nodes and select it and repeat. So now if we go to 3D view, let me just type TL. Yeah. So this is it. So all the um, all these uh, foam cubes. So next step is we just need to use Dynamo to randomize the, the angles. So let's quickly do it. So create a new rivet selection 
select all family types. Let me change this to menu for now. And then select this family three uh, and all elements of family types, link, run. Let's have a look how many, 300. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to just create a, some, a list of angles. So it will start from maybe from one, oops, from one to maybe 360 and every, uh, one degree so if i run so you will see this is a list from one degree to 360 so this will cover the num all this because yeah as long as the num uh it's uh, the, the number of this list is bigger than the list of this uh these elements so now what i'm going to do is i'll just shuffle it okay shuffle it and okay and then here i'm going to use set parameters by name okay so link this um and okay because we have three angular parameters so we need three so select this one Control c Control v and Control v again so now these are for the three different ang angular parameters so double click create a a1 so sorry uh quote a1 quote a2 quote and a3 so these are uh, the three angular parameters so just link a2 parameter name a3 parameter name and then we can just link link the this list to the value so now if i click run and just wait for a few seconds and okay so uh, yeah just uh, if yeah if if you, if you if you zoom in you will see all you know they are overlapping or you know but just zoom out okay so should be should be okay and also if you can um Maybe adjust the size. Maybe, maybe we need, can make them smaller instead of 300. So we can have 300 by 300 grid. But uh, with, uh, let's do it. Maybe I can. Maybe we can change the size to, uh, two, oh, sorry, 250 instead of 300. And see what happens. Maybe it, it will be better. Yeah, I think it's better. Right? Okay, so. Uh, oh, actually. Yeah, there's a little bit gap, but yeah, just ignore them. Just, yeah. It's, it's, it looks okay from, from, uh, from this, from this view. Right? And then also um, we can let's just create some uh, material. Okay, so I'm going to create uh, one material. Maybe call it uh, uh, A, and maybe let, let me. Oh, what is it here? Let me just give it a color. So maybe just gray, a gray. Okay, and then I'll just duplicate this one. Call it B appearance duplicate. Uh, I'll make it blue and yeah so material A and B and OK so now we can go here so I'll copy this one Control C Control V but this time we're going to use material name okay so it will be a uh, oh, material name it will be let me just have a look what's the name of the material material here here okay so lowercase oh hell need to have the quote material and a link to here so remove this value so it will be um, the name a and b 
and also uh, we need another one so I think it's a material by name by name should be this one because this is just text and this value need to be the material so you need to have this one okay so I have this one and the control C control V so we can have two material so um, oh hang on so we need to create a list of these two um, so which means we need to hang on let me think uh, create a list so list create uh, item 0 item 1 so th now this is a list of two so we need to cyclone oh sorry cycle <laughs> cycle and because we need uh, how many 300 so we need time um, 150 so become 300 and then I'll shuffle it okay and then link this back to here and I think should be all good so let's run it and just wait yeah that's it okay so yeah if you if, if if you want more color you can just add one more here so for example uh, I'll just quickly add an, another color so duplicate C appearance duplicate and maybe I'll just add a dark gray okay so okay and then go here I'll just uh, another one C and control C control V and link this to C uh, oh sorry add another to this list so all good and, and click run okay that's it and then now I'll just uh, minimize this one so now we can so if you are happy with this so if you if you don't like this gap you can increase the size um, but I'll just leave it okay so load this into the project just uh, let me just go to the ground floor and I'll just place it roughly Ooh, it's a little bit hard roughly in the center I'll, I'll just click Okay, so escape, and then that's it. So now let's have a look in 3D view. That's it. Yeah, not bad, I think. So it's good for uh, if you want to re do a, a render, I think. Yeah, but if you can still see the uh, the cap, but you can try to um, maybe you can just uh, place another one under under this one. So okay so that's it um if you have any question please let me know i'll see you next time bye oh hang on so yeah to hide this so maybe you want you don't want to see this grid the easiest way is in this view you can just go vv and go check the mass okay check the mass and uncheck the grid and uncheck the node and I click ok oh sorry Maybe we need also need it to this. That's it. Nice. Okay, thank you. See you next time. Bye.